Introduction Hey, what happened to your nose? Ah, uh, cold and cough. I guess you suffer from common cold very frequently. Yes, almost every two months. I easily catch cold if someone suffering from cold passes by. If you catch infection so easily, it means your immunity is very low. Really? So what should I do? You should eat food and take medicines that help you to increase immunity to fight against infections. Okay. Let me explain you what is immunity and how does it fight against infections. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Identify the barriers to innate immunity. Understand the concept of acquired immunity. Understand the difference between active and passive immunity. Understand the concept of vaccination and immunization. Understand allergy and autoimmunity. Identify the immune system of human body. Immunity what is immunity? The overall ability of the host to fight the disease-causing organisms conferred by the immune system is called immunity. Types of immunity There are two types of immunity. Innate immunity, acquired immunity. Innate immunity Innate immunity is the immunity that occurs naturally as a result of an individual's natural biological makeup. Innate immunity is accomplished by the natural body barriers that prevent the entry of foreign organisms. These barriers are physical barriers, physiological barriers, cellular barriers, cytokine barriers. Physical barriers it includes skin and mucus coating of the epithelium lining of respiratory, gastrointestinal and urogenital tracts. Physiological barriers. It includes acid in the stomach, saliva, tears. Cellular barriers. It includes leukocytes, lymphocytes, macrophages. Cytokine barriers. It includes interferons that protect the non-infected cell from further infections. Acquired Immunity Acquired immunity is the immunity obtained from the development of antibodies in response to exposure to an antigen. When a body encounters a pathogen for the first time, a low-intensity primary response is produced. However, a subsequent encounter with the same pathogen produces a highly intensified response. These responses are produced with the help of special lymphocytes. B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes. B lymphocytes. They produce proteins called antibodies in the blood to fight with the pathogens. T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes help the B cells to produce antibodies. Antibody. An antibody is a Y-shaped protein on the surface of B cells that is secreted into the blood or lymph in response to an antigenic stimulus to counteract the effect of the antigen. Different types of antibodies are produced in our body such as IgA, IgM, IgE, IgG, etc. Structure of antibody Each antibody molecule has four peptide chains. Smaller light chains, longer heavy chains. An antibody molecule is represented as H2L2. Types of immune responses 
There are two types of immune responses in our body. Humoral immune response. It is an immune response mediated by the production of antibodies by the B cells in blood. Cell mediated immune response. This type of response is produced by the activation of macrophages, natural killer cells, T lymphocytes, and cytokines. This type of response is mediated by T lymphocytes. Types of acquired immunity. There are two types of acquired immunity active immunity and passive immunity. Active immunity. It results from the production of antibodies in response to an antigen. Passive immunity. When ready-made antibodies are directly given to protect the body against foreign agents, it is called passive immunity. Examples of active and passive immunity. Active and passive immunity can be acquired naturally or artificially. Vaccination and immunization. What is a vaccine? A vaccine is a preparation of a weakened or killed pathogen or a portion of the pathogen's structure that stimulates antibody production against the pathogen but is incapable of causing severe infection. Vaccination. Vaccination refers to the inoculation of a vaccine to prevent the occurrence of a specific disease. Immunization. Immunization is the process of protection of susceptible patients from communicable diseases by stimulating the immune system through the administration of vaccines. Process of vaccination and immunization involves the following steps. A preparation of antigenic proteins of pathogen or inactivated weakened pathogen are introduced in the body. As a result, antibodies are produced against the antigens to neutralize the pathogenic agents. Also, memory B and T cells are produced that cause massive antibody production during subsequent exposure with the same pathogen. Thus, the memory of immune system protects the body from any further infection. Active and passive immunization. Active immunization. Immunization resulting from the development of antibodies in response to the presence of an antigen or exposure to an infectious disease. Example, BCG vaccine. Passive immunization. If a person is infected with some deadly microbes to which quick immune response is required, we need to directly inject the preformed antibodies or antitoxin. This type of immunization is called passive immunization. Example, tetanus antitoxin. Allergy. Allergy. The exaggerated response of the immune system to certain antigens present in the environment is called allergy. The antibodies produced to these are IgE type. Allergen. A substance that is foreign to the body and can cause an allergic reaction is called an allergen. For example, mites in dust, pollens, animal dander, etc. Symptoms of allergy. Sneezing, watery eyes, running nose, difficulty in breathing. Cause of allergy. When a person is exposed to an allergen, IgE antibodies are produced which attach themselves to mast cells. Such mast cells, upon further exposure to allergen, release chemicals like histamine and serotonin resulting in allergy. Treatment of allergy. Allergic symptoms can be reduced with the use of drugs like antihistamine, adrenaline and steroids.
Autoimmunity Autoimmunity It is a misguided immune response resulting in the production of antibodies against the tissues of our own body, thus resulting in hypersensitivity reactions. Autoimmune disease Any disease or damage occurring due to the abnormal functioning of the immune system against body's own cells and tissues is called an autoimmune disease. For example, rheumatoid arthritis, lymphoid organs, lymphoid organs, the organs where origin and or maturation and proliferation of lymphocytes occur are called lymphoid organs. Types of lymphoid organs, lymphoid organs are of two types, primary lymphoid organs. They are those organs where the immature lymphocytes differentiate into antigen-sensitive lymphocytes. Primary lymphoid organs are bone marrow, thymus. Secondary lymphoid organs. The secondary lymphoid organs provide the sites for interaction of lymphocytes with the antigen, which then proliferate to become effector cells. Secondary lymphoid organs include Spleen, lymph nodes, tonsils, pears, patches of small intestine, appendix. Primary lymphoid organs. They provide microenvironment for the development and maturation of T lymphocytes. Bone marrow is the main lymphoid organ. All blood cells including lymphocytes are produced in bone marrow. Thymus is a lobed organ located near heart and beneath the breast bone. Large in size at the time of birth but reduces gradually to attain a small size by puberty. Secondary lymphoid organs Spleen is a bean-shaped organ, contains lymphocytes and phagocytes, acts as a filter of the blood by trapping blood-borne microorganisms. Lymph nodes They are small solid structures located at different points along the lymphatic system. They trap the microorganisms or other antigens which get into the lymph and tissue fluid. These antigens trigger lymphocyte activation and cause the immune response. Malt or mucosal associated lymphoid tissue constitutes 50% of the lymphoid tissue of human body. Located within the lining of the major tracts such as respiratory, digestive and urogenital tracts. Did you know dialkyl fumarate can be used in combination with cyclosporin in the form of micro tablets or pellets for the treatment of autoimmune diseases such as polyarthritis, multiple sclerosis, Jogren syndrome, etc. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The overall ability of the host to fight the disease-causing organisms conferred by the immune system is called immunity. There are two types of immunity, innate and acquired. Physical, psychological, cellular and cytokine barriers accomplish innate immunity. B and T lymphocytes provide acquired immunity to the body. It can be active or passive immunity. Vaccination refers to the inoculation of a vaccine to prevent the occurrence of a specific disease. The exaggerated response of the immune system to certain antigens present in the environment is called allergy. Any disease or damage 
occurring due to the abnormal functioning of the immune system against body's own cells and tissues is called an autoimmune disease. The organs where origin and or maturation and proliferation of lymphocytes occur are called lymphoid organs. They can be primary, bone and thymus or secondary such as spleen, lymph nodes, etc.